Welcome to our top 10 list of easiest corals to keep in a reef. Soft corals, polyps, and mushrooms are known for being hardy. They don't require any dosing to promote growth and they need little to no monitoring besides water changes, lighting, and flow. If this is your first reef tank, then these are the corals for you. We start with number 10, Florida Recordia Mushrooms. Keep in mind that number one on the list is the absolute hardiest. Florida Recordia come in an amazing variety of colors and fluoresce nicely under blue lighting. Recordia Mushrooms prefer low light. The sweet thing about Recordia Mushrooms is that they can be arranged in a tight group together where they are touching each other. Glue them to a hard surface on the bottom or near the bottom of a reef tank. They like to be target fed a couple times a week, which will help increase their color intensity and growth rate. Florida Recordia are slower growing coral, so you don't have to worry about them taking over the tank. For number nine, we have green star polyps. They are renowned in the aquarium hobby for their color. Depending upon the morph, they will fluoresce under blue light as well as look amazing under full spectrum lighting. They provide plenty of movement and look like an amazing sexy green shag carpet as they grow into larger colonies. They do not require any target feeding. You can glue them into the back of your reef to get an amazing backdrop full of color. Just be careful as they can quickly take over your reef. Some might stay away from that invasive reputation, however, for a beginner hobbyist, it is a very gratifying coral because of its growth rate and ability for it to cover a good amount of real estate. If you like to keep them from taking over your reef, then you will want to isolate green star polyps on their own rock. Number eight is one of my personal favorites, zoanthids. These corals do extremely well and even better in more nutrient rich, dirtier water. There's almost an unlimited amount of color morphs to choose from. Some hobbyists even keep zoo only reef tanks. Zoos enjoy being fed foods such as reefroids as well as aminos or small meaty foods. Some morphs require higher lighting, where they will begin to stretch for light. For that reason, placement is key. They look amazing as they bud off and grow into larger colonies. Also consider contrasting colors, which will create a more diverse palette. The toadstool leather is our choice for number seven. These are a classic coral that may be one of the first species kept in aquariums. They come in a few different color varieties, including a green that pops in blue lighting. Some varieties have long sweeping polyps while other varieties have short polyps. They are quick growers and require sufficient lighting and medium flow. Toadstool leathers can be placed almost anywhere in the tank and their base will attach to your rock. Be sure to have it attached to a smaller rock if you want to move them in the future. Be careful as most leathers can irritate neighboring corals by producing a toxic mucus. Placement of these corals also should be considered because they can create a canopy for any corals beneath them. The best place for a toadstool leather will be in strong lighting on the edge of a rock structure or off to the side of a tank near the top. Keep in mind these corals will periodically withdraw their tentacles and shed a layer of tissue, sometimes turning brown, and come back better than ever, so do not be alarmed as this is perfectly normal. Number six is Nephthia and Sinularia leathers. These are two soft corals that are similar to toadstool leathers. They will go well together to produce a nice contrast in the reef tank. Just like the toadstool, they have a very irritating touch to their tank mates. They will add nice movement and they do not require target feeding. The best part of a Nephthia and Sinularia leathers is they create vertical structure without impeding light to the corals below. Medium lighting and flow are fine. They may not grow quickly in the beginning, but once established, they usually take off. Number five is Sympodium. If green star polyps grow too fast for you, then this is a good coral to consider. It's like a blend of green star polyps and leather coral together. It will add some movement and fluoresce in your tank under blue lighting while looking incredible under full spectrum. You can use these corals to fill in or break up contrast between corals. They will grow as an encrusting mat and don't need high lighting or flow. You don't have to target feed them, making them very easy to keep in the reef tank. This is one of the most forgiving corals there is. 
So for the new hobbyists still finding their rhythm of husbandry, this is an excellent addition. Number four, hairy mushrooms. These have the most movement of any mushroom species as they have long tentacles. They look great under alternating flow or wave mode. They do well if you target feed them small meaty pieces of food. There are a few color morphs of hairy mushrooms such as green, lavender, and gold. We recommend keeping them on a separate rock or island as they multiply quickly in the right conditions, making this another gratifying addition. Oftentimes, when these corals colonize, they can become a cozy place for your clownfish to warm up to. These mushrooms are an excellent host and make a good solution to those who are gun-shy to having an anemone in their aquarium. Number three is Cespitularia. Adding this coral is a great way to keep blue or purple corals in your reef tank, as most easy to keep corals are green or brown. These corals look their best in a full spectrum lighting environment. They prefer low to medium flow and do not require target feeding. As they grow and cover the rock, they will bud off or encrust. Be sure not to keep it close to any area that you do not want covered as Cespitularia grows quickly. Cespitularia will stand out from the crowd in an aquarium full of other soft corals. If the only thing in the aquarium was Cespitularia and Anthelia and the flow was set on wave pulse, it would be an instant crowd pleaser. Anthelia is number two on our list. This easy to care for soft coral has long polyps and looks great with wave-like flow in the tank. They are most often a light purplish brown color. They do not require much light or high flow. You do not have to target feed as they will filter food from the water column. Just be careful as they can quickly outgrow any area you place them in, even taking over your entire reef if not isolated. Their care can be compared to Cespitularia. Our number one pick for the easiest corals for beginners is Pulsing Xenia. This is an extremely popular coral for beginners. They look amazing as a colony because every polyp will pulse as a filter feeds. Do not place Xenia up high in your reef as they do not like high flow or strong lighting. Also, target feeding is not needed, making this the easiest coral for beginners on our list. They grow quickly and can and will take over your tank, so isolating Xenia is key. Many people like to cover the overflow or back wall with Xenia. In summary, a sure bet to a beautiful and easy to keep aquarium is to stock up on these 10 types of corals. Within one year, these corals should be able to fill out and you then can begin manicuring your reef just like an advanced hobbyist. These corals are an excellent way to build your confidence before taking your hobby to the next level. That's it for our top 10. Please let us know what other lists you would like to see in the future by leaving us a comment below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and throw us a like after watching this video.